Oh, thinking about Thanksgiving that's coming up, it's kind of stressful when you think about all the stuff you got to get ready and prepared. And so for this week, we've been trying to make life a little bit easier for you, at least. Had some good tips throughout the week, and this morning it has to be Thanksgiving breakfast. Yeah, because the turkey gets all the glory, but th- but breakfast is important too. So we're joined by Tori Winkleman. She's a cookbook author. Faith, hope, love, and a whisk, breakfast with the Savior. I love that, Tori. Welcome. Thank you so much. And, and thank you for having me, Robin Allison. Yeah, and you're all the way out in California, so we thank you for getting up so early this morning. No problem. <laughs> well, let's, let's start, first of all, with the cookbook. I mean, you could have written a cookbook. You could have done a devotional, but why did you combine the two? Well, um, I two of my passions are learning and sharing about Jesus, and the other one is cooking with my mom and sister. And after graduating from college um, with my biblical dis- uh, biblical studies degree, um, I just decided how, how can I make that a unique ministry for the Lord? And um, I came up with a cookbook devotional. And it's a great way that you can grow in your relationship with the Lord and at the same time grow your relationship with your family um, by bringing them around the kitchen table. That's so cool. So let's talk about breakfast on Thanksgiving. How can we make that special? And what are you going to be making for us this morning? Um, well, this morning I'm going to be making Mexican strata, um, but how I we normally make Thanksgiving breakfast really special is um, it, it is about the food, but it's also it's about the Lord really. And what we do is have these little place cards on each one of our place settings, and they are Bible verses um, that are all about giving thanks and um, thankfulness and thanksgiving. So it's kind of a great way to bring the Lord into um, into your morning and into your Thanksgiving. Oh, that's cool. I love that, yeah. especially that, since you're keeping the focus there. And so now it's the preparation for the, what did we call it, Mexican strata? Is yeah. Mexican right? strata. It's a egg-based casserole, and that is what I'm going to be showing you today. So it's really simple and easy to make, um, and that's really what you want on Thanksgiving morning. You just want to um, have something because you're so busy throughout the day. So we're going to take 10 eggs, and they're already pre-whisked, and pour that's that the in the biggest there. measuring cup I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It is a big measuring cup. It is. (laughs) Then I got one and a half cups of milk. And the nice thing about this is you just pour it all into one big bowl and you whisk it up and you're good to go. I love that because I don't like to do dishes. So if I can make everything in one bowl, yes. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And these are um, diced Ortega chilies. Um, They're mild. We don't like to use spicy. We spice it up afterwards. So, and then a couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce? I call it, what's this here sauce? (laughs) Can't pronounce that one. (laughs) It's a hard one. It is. Cream corn. By the way, we're showing this online at hisradio.com, so you'll be able to catch it a little bit later on if you can't watch right now on the video replay page. What are you putting in now? I'm putting in sharp cheddar cheese, um, three cups of it. Wow. And so how many are you making? How many has it got to fill? Because that's like a big bowl you got there. Yeah, it's um, it's going to make a, a 9 by 13 dish. I can also make it in cupcake tins, but you're going to add less eggs because um, the fluffier, it, you want it really fluffy when you're making it in a big um, casserole dish. So, but it'll serve... A lot of people. That's yeah. awesome. I actually got to make this last night because I wanted to try it out, and it was super easy. And I have some here for you, Rob, if you want to try one. Oh, really? And they're really oh. not um, they're not that unhealthy at all. Okay, now she's she's pouring it in a big pan right now. Yeah. yeah. So I did so the version in the muffin tin, and she's pouring it into a big pan. So, yeah, um, you're going to pour it in, and it's going to be a greased pan, Um Put it in the oven for 375 for 45 minutes, and it'll turn out just like this. Oh, wait till you see this on the video replay page at hisradio.com. That is nice. (laughs) And also, um, we for sides, we put salsa, Tabasco, sour cream, or you just eat it plain. Oh, sweet. 
Looks like I'm going to eat mine plain. I actually have one right here. Yeah, try it out. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> she she made this last night. Okay, if I, if it's not that great, it's not Tori's fault. It's my fault. Oh, no. <laughs> I bet you it's tremendous. I'm sure it's amazing, Allison. <laughs> okay, here I go. Whoa. You like it? That is good. Oh, awesome. Oh, wow, that is good. That's amazing. Thank and you, if, Tori. If Allison made this one, I can only imagine what yours is like, Tori. Oh, my <laughs> word. The one with all the skills. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually giving away a copy of Tori's uh, cookbook, Faith, Hope, Love, and a Whisk, on the His Radio blog. So folks can go there to enter right now. Yeah, you'll see that at hisradio.com. Just click on Rob Dempsey. The His Crew, where His Morning Crew blog will come right up, and that's where you can register to win that cookbook. Tori, you have been awesome this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me, and I hope you both have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Oh, hey, by the way, one more thing. We noticed that uh, you and Natalie Grant have something in common. <laughs> What's that? Oh, well, she's, uh, you're in uh, Hope for Women magazine this month, and Natalie yeah, Grant's on I'm the so cover. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> that was really exciting. I opened it up, and I'm just like, oh, my goodness, it's the first time I've been in magazine. So. <laughs> and there's more to come. <laughs> <laughs> Tori, you have a phenomenal day. Enjoy that breakfast you cooked. Thank you so much. You too. <laughs> you will actually see all of that in its entirety on hisradio.com. Click on the video replay page and on Roku as well.